Yeah, take, take it off the line. It's gotta be on the Wi-Fi for it to work. Text me and I'll text you back. Text me and I'll text you back. Text me and I'll text you back. You text me and I'll text you back. You text me and I'll text you back. TikTok, you don't stop. I will help you make your paper stack. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at now? 205-964-524-39. You know. Good afternoon, November 17th, uh, for this uh, daily live. Well, we're here to talk about uh, wholesaling real estate, real estate investing in general, what I um, have to say a strong emphasis on um, wholesaling real, real estate. Um, please like and share this. Um, hopefully we can bring some positivity today um, to you all. Um, mm. <sighs> you yeah, well, yeah, because I'm, I'm feeling it, you know what I'm saying? You don't know these people, um, and no life is no more important than another, but when you listen to people's music or watch their movies or whatever, entertainers, watch them play a particular sport, you sort of feel like you know them, right? So it's RIP to Young Dolph. I'm not sure what happened there, but, you know, it's just... Uh, you know, somebody that didn't really grow up in a world like that, it's just hard for me to wrap my mind around stuff like that. So, um, but anyway, um, so we'll get to some, hopefully some positive positivity. And um, what we got, ladies? All right, um, this is good. I see some familiar faces from YouTube. Yeah. Um, Mona from YouTube said, hello, Flipman, welcome back. Um, it's your girl Angel said, hey, hey, I'm signed on to this one. Demon Purse, she's always here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Anya Bledsoe, I remember them too. He said, or they said. It's a female. It's a female, yeah. okay. Yeah. Um, I tried to do business with a realtor. He acted like I was beneath him. Child. Good. Good. Okay. Um, yeah, Jay Watts from YouTube said, RIP Dolph. Oh, yeah. Uh, Robin Harper said hello from DC. Oh, Rob, That's all oh. I got so far. All right, the first question is on Instagram. How do I sell a hood home if it's owned by the housing urban development? It's a foreclosure. You just answered your question. Um, for its wholesaling, uh, those are very difficult to put together, as most, which all foreclosures are normally. Um, it's just something that it's just easier deals out there to put together. There's too many hoops you have to jump through. Part of the reason that you can wholesale houses effectively is because you control the seller side of it and dealing with HUD, you're not going to be able to do that. You know, you're not going to be able to sign it. You're not going to be able to double close it. Uh, I guess there is some methods around it, but it's just, just too difficult for a number of reasons. Plus you're not finding something that, um, is a secret <laughs> more so. Um, then you have to go through that bidding process or whatever. So, um, all right, I don't have anything right now. Everybody's just saying hello, hello, everybody. Good afternoon. Good What's afternoon. Up from Utah? Good afternoon. What's up from Houston? All right, we have another one on Instagram. What's the best way slash website to skip tracing address? We got to do something about our lighting. <laughs> Um, you say what? Do what? <laughs> what is that? All right, that's on Instagram. What's the best way slash website to skip tracing address? Um, uh, if you text the word "skip" to the phone number right here two zero five nine six four five two four three, let's send you a video over uh, for skip to flip, and uh, it'll explain how that uh, works. Um, let's see. Somebody said Austin is flooded with real estate or with wholesaling? Wholesaling? A lot of opportunity there, like in a lot of places. Oh, I, I can't eat that while I'm doing this. They a clown. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Marina from YouTube said, I've been wanting to work with agents. 
How do you get the MLS listing on Zillow removed once you have it under contract mm. so buyers aren't turned off? Are agents okay with removing the listing? Girl. Uh, well, <laughs> the, the issue with that, Mo, Mo, Marina, Marina, mm -hmm. is um, uh, the agent will probably change the status to pending, right? Mm -hmm. And the reason they do that is... Um, a lot of times they accept backup offers, but if you take it off the market totally, that removes that chance of it um, being, uh, you know, people reaching out for backup offer just in case, you know, the current contract falls through. On top of that, it's a, still a, 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 a easy way of them marketing themselves that, hey, you know, I, I make things happen. You see, this house is pending to be sold or whatever. So. You can always ask. Offers are free, but normally they're going to resist that. Um, so uh, that that's one of the other issues with dealing with properties that are listed. Now, again, I always like to emphasize it can be done, but it's for the more experienced uh, uh, wholesalers slash investors, or whatever. For newbies, it's just easier deals out there. Um, so. I know everybody just wants to go to the internet, pull a property uh, property down, and just wholesale it. That could be done, but for most people, that's one of the harder ways of doing it. Most people, I'm and reiterate. Um, we forgot to tell them if you would like to come on and ask your question live, um, you can text the word Gator G A T O R to the two zero five nine six four five two four three number. And I'll send you the link to join. You have to have your camera and your mic turned on. How is your day been going so far? They said what? Nobody asked that. I was just asking, how's your day been going so far? Oh, um, well, going all right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was a normal day. So I heard Jessica scream and talking. I, I said, all I need to do is go to TMZ. My my, my alert on TMZ. I know what I changed phone, so I didn't reactivate everything. I said, all I need to go to TMZ. If it's something happened, the first thing I see, yeah. you know, young Dolph dead at 36, shot and killed in Memphis. Oh, we, we, we'll, we'll get there. Oh, the topic of today is how to get a realtor. How to use realtors to wholesale houses. I guess that's why Marina was asking that question, huh? Okay, and, and it's not what you think it's going to be. It's going to be somewhat the reverse, but I'll, I'll go through it. You know, we, we'll get a little deeper into the uh, into this particular stream. So. All right, this is on Instagram. Any hedge funds for a Las Vegas, Nevada deal? Um, Not that I'm aware of. I hadn't had a lot of uh, interaction with those, you know, but they, they're buying all over the place, so it's a few of them that are strong in most markets. So, but uh, what I'm going to um, discuss a little later is going to be just as you know, just as valuable to you. All right, um, this one's from Shani Stewart from Facebook. They said, "How long does it take to do the first flip? What's the average time?" There's no way to say that. Um, just, there's just too many factors. People learn differently. Some people learn faster. Uh, the, the resource, your resources, the time you put into it, um, your ability to negotiate, your ability to be comfortable with talking to sellers. Um, it's just too many factors to just give you an average time. It, I, I couldn't even start to guess. And then I guess it would be some data if I, if I just tracked it over time or whatever, but um, for the people I've dealt with, which is who knows how many, um, that ain't nothing I thought about tracking, so I don't know. Um, I've seen uh, people do it as uh, my personal experience. I did it in 30 days, but I, I had two ladies uh, that signed up for me with me locally, and they signed up because they one of them uh, lived across the street from two houses that was vacant but owned by the same man. So um, they uh, signed up for my training. This is when it was just, you know, like – 97 bucks, something like that. Been a long time. And, uh, but we partnered on the deal. We closed that deal in like 10 or 14 days. So that's, that's the quickest I've seen someone out the gate. But she was fortunate. The seller wanted to sell and he wanted to sell 
at a price to work. And I never heard from those ladies again. <laughs> uh, I don't know if they just continued to do deals or not or whatever. So, but um, made that happen. All right, I got one on TikTok. Um, what's a good place to get a lead list? Um, well, um, now I, I use we use PropStream to build list. Um, so dig it later, AK PropStream. If you uh, text the word text to the uh, phone number in that video, even it's about even though it's about setting up text messaging using. Uh, text to flip um but it does it's showing you how to build lists and how to get them skip traced so um and also if, if you decide once you look at that video you want to sign up for uh daily AK prop stream um we offer a, a a training on it to go more in depth on some of the other features that it offers that'll be very uh useful to you to help you put deals together on a day-to-day -day basis so all you have to do is text the word time uh, to the phone number, uh, 205-964-5243. So if you've signed up through digulator.com, whether it's, it's a new sign up or you've already been there for months or whatever the situation, we offer that free training to people that sign up through there once we verify it. So now if you sign up through another source or whatever, then you're going to have to seek out that other source for that free training. So if you're interested in uh, getting it, just text the word time to 205 9645243. All right, this is back on Instagram. What formula should I use for Las Vegas, Nevada deal if the ARV is 285K and repairs needs average? You would still use the same formula. You can just go to so just text DC for deal calculator, text DC to the number 205-964-5243. And I show you uh, in that, that um, I'm sorry, that uh, free calculator on the site will show you how, uh, will allow you to plug the numbers in 70%, you know, it's gonna work probably in, uh, in Las Vegas. Um, okay. Sierra Redman uh, from YouTube X, is there opportunities in Houston? Absolutely. Oh my God! Yeah, you're talking what fourth, fifth largest uh, market in the country. Just an endless amount of deals. You don't ever have to do anything outside of that 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 huge market. Okay. Enormous, enormous opportunities. Uh, this has more to do with the topic, um, Marina X. So, how do you use realtors? All right. Um, Should I answer it now or wait a little later? Okay, so what what so what you what you saying? Yeah. Okay, all right. So all right. Okay, so most people when they think about real estate agents, they think about the seller side of it, right? And it makes it really difficult to deal with them uh, on the seller side of it, especially if you're a newbie. Um, because you're automatically at a resistance, right? Um, as I mentioned yesterday, maybe even the day before, I guess it's one of the more common questions because people will try to reach out to realtors and then with the response they get, it, you know, it can be intimidating sometimes. Just like somebody said the realtor made them feel like they were stupid or beneath them. That's, that's common. Um, and so, um, uh, so on the seller side of it, when you're trying to find a deal using a realtor, think about it. Realtors are paid on commission. So the more you sell something for, the higher your commission check would be. We're on the opposite end of that. The cheaper we can get a property for, the more possible money we can make, right? So, and, and the, just off the top, we're at a resistance, all right? So um, um, the next thing is they're going to, uh, they're going to want to earn some money deposit, uh, at least $1,000. It could be less, but normally they, that's like a... a um, a minimum for again it's negotiable um and in reality they make it seem like it's a law that you had to put up a thousand in reality um you can put up whatever amount but it still has to be accepted the problem is this the, the agent is the gatekeeper and they and, and they're gonna have in a lot of cases influence on how the buyer acts to your offers and i'll explain that a little more so assuming it's thousand dollars Next, they're going to want proof of funds. If those are not hurdles for you, okay, you jump through those two hurdles. 
plus the first thing I said about being at the automatic resistance. Then now you're not, you haven't found anything that's a secret. So if the property is listed at one price, hopefully you negotiated a price significantly lower than what's being listed, right? So we'll just say if the house is listed for uh, $280,000, and it's in a and it's an ARV is two ninety. So that's basically what. So they for for see a realtor, that ten thousand dollar discount is a motivated seller, not in our world. Two ninety ARV down to one ninety ARV. That's a motivated seller. See that they don't see it like that. Yo, yo, you're um, you're you're insulting. Might be, <laughs> <laughs> but but that's what we need to be. So. Um, uh, so it, it's just difficult on that end of it. And then, so now, um, as I, as I answered the first question, how do you get them to take the listing down? And sometimes they'll do, you have to ask, you know, yes or no or whatever. I, mean, I gave you the reason why they won't take it down because if they leave it pending, that gives an opportunity to take, accept backup offers in case that, in case your deal falls through. Um, also, um, uh, it allows them to still market themselves that, hey, I get stuff done. All right. So, uh, so uh, that's it. But let's flip it. So how do you, use, how can you use realtors to wholesale houses? Let's go to the buyer side of it. Now you all are on the same page, right? The more you sit, the more that their buyer buys the house for, the more they make. The more their buyer buys the house for, the more you make. Now you're on the same page, right? So on the buyer side, some realtors can be perfect for any mar mar for, for any market. And in the um, and I have a video on it that I uploaded um, maybe a month or so ago. If you text the word buyers to uh, to the two zero five nine six four five two four three. I explain how uh, how to put it all together. But I'm trying to explain it without any visuals. That video will show you the visuals. But basically, in PropStream, you can build a list of flippers, and and what it's doing is just basically man manipulating the data to show that someone bought a property in this time frame, and then they put it back on the market in this time frame. So especially if it was paid for cash. So and then it's at one price, and then a much higher price. So they are, and then it's listed. So um, now, whenever you pull up that information on that property, it shows the agent's information. So when you reach out to them, if you have a property in the same area where that property is located that they're trying to, uh, their client is trying to flip, going through them, you reach out to them and say, hey, I noticed you have this property uh, on such and such, this listing at, at such and such street. Um, would your uh, client be interested in another property like this, either now or in the future? Okay. Now for the agent, see that's when that that old good green. What color is green? Green. Uh, when it comes out, the agent can make money when they when when you wholesale it to their buyer, and in a lot of cases they already let them list that property. That buyer will let them list that property also after they renovate it they have an opportunity to double dip, meaning they get paid on the purchase and the resale of it. That's how, you know, and a lot of times agents that deal with investors, they have multiple investors that, uh, that, that, that are flippers. So you may call them about that list and then that particular client, they'll say, no, he probably can't take on another property uh, at this time until he sells this one. But I have two others that would be highly interested in it. That's how you use realtors to wholesale real estate. Scrap the, the seller side of it, get that part of it out of your mind. Look on the buyer side of it. They can be a great source of buyers in pretty much any decent sized market. And in that video uh, where I, I really show you how to build a list, if you'll text the word buyers again, two to two oh five nine six four five two. Four, three. So to reiterate, on the buyer side, you and the realtor are on the same page because the more the house sells for, the more you make, the more they make.
All right, we're back on TikTok. Um, how can I watch you step by step doing videos? Um, through my YouTube channel. It's 700 videos, eight years of content. Some of it, me talking about deals I've done, but I prefer to let others talk about what they've done. Um, interview after interview, people from all walks of life. All right, this is on Instagram. Do you use creative strategies? Uh, yes, I have, but not as much as I should have over the years, but working on that. All right, this one's from Facebook. Um, they said, do I put down the earnest money deposit or does the cash buyer? Well, you're going to have a, sell, a contract between uh, you and the seller. So an earnest money deposit needs to be established with them. You and the buyer are going to have a contract. So uh, earnest money deposit needs to be, uh, uh, be dispersed between you and the buyer. So, no, you're going to put up your own earnest money for your side of the deal. All right. I think we answered this. Is there a website to get lead lists? I think they were on TikTok, too. Yeah. Okay. Um, this one's from Todd White from YouTube. He said, what's up, Todd? This is Todd. I'm in the Wholesale Accelerator class right now. Um, I have a relative who's a realtor using your expertise. What's the best approach to get them to partner up with me on wholesale? So we just told you. Um, yeah. Um, really, you're, you said a relative. Really, your relative... Unless they're going to bring you properties before they're listed on MLS, they really have no value unless they're going to produce a buyer. On the seller side, if, if they can't produce a, 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 a deal, well, let me, let me back up. If they have a property that's a listing of their, their own listing, meaning they're trying to sell a property for someone and they know the seller would take a lot less than... If they're willing to, to remove the listing, cancel the uh, listing agreement, uh, and obviously let the seller know, and then you can move forward in that way if you can get it at a significant discount that would, versus what it was listed for online in a lot of cases, if it could work that way also. But other than that, they really have no value. If, they, if this was 1990 before the internet really took off, um, then you know realtors had a very important role because the information was really just uh, – enclosed with them but when the internet exploded now you got sites like zillow it's basically the google of residential real estate if an agent is listing a property for a seller and if it's not on google they need to fire them because that's the first place people go when they look for houses okay and you can do the same my point i'm bringing up zillow so all right hustle the struggle from youtube said probates is it better to call from the start or should we warm them up first with letters? Uh, both work. It's just going to depend on the individual. Um, it will depend on how long that relative uh, has been deceased. It's just going to be several factors going that. So um, you really going to do a combination of both. All right. This one's from Anye. Um, This is kind of like asking you to reiterate what you had just said, but I guess, she said, um, I might have missed it, but how do you target realtors and when? And what should your approach be? So I guess more so you can just answer, like, when should you approach this? Um, what I explained in short, uh, Anya, the seller side, especially for a newbie, forget about it. Realtors can be valuable on the buyer side. If you go back to about 12 minutes into this particular video, I broke it down. But also, if you uh, just text the word buyers, to the 205-964-5243. I explain how, how it's done. What time? Yeah, around 13, around 13 minutes I explained it. All right, I got nothing right now. We didn't send out a text, so we might be a little slow or whatever. So. Yeah. Um, well, you know, we can wait. We'll go on five or ten minutes. Your life is fine because you said you were going to start. Oh, yeah. We'll go. I, I, don't, I ain't got no life about it. I, I, I messed up out here, Mike. You know what I'm saying? Be careful, there it is. Hey. Charger. You always rolling on the front of the other side. And my mom will say, you got to be more careful. Um, what is that? Right there. Um, 
Oh, oh, the time. I, I, I just explained that a couple of times. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Obviously. So still no questions. So yeah. So um, um, while we're waiting, no people ask questions. Um, again, we have um, 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 the different keywords you can text in. CRM if you need something to manage your leads with. Um, um, what? Text to flip. Text to word text. You want a partner, text 5050. Um, uh, the ARV, if you need, want to need to know how to do that, the ARV. Uh, you want to do direct mail, text the word mail. My uh, the experts over at Graphic Connections out of St. Louis, Ryan and Corey would be happy to help you. Um, you want to join my Facebook group, text the word group. And uh, we'll be happy to have you. And what else we got? The buyers, as I mentioned, time, if you need to train it on using Delay to prop stream. And boom, what you got, Ken? All right, this is on Instagram. You kind of already answered it, but um, she said, I want to wholesale a lot, but it's been put on Zillow by a real estate agent. Can I still wholesale it? Well, that's sort of what I've been through already. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can still wholesale. A lot may be a lot. A lot well, not may, a lot would may be easier because really no showing on that unless it's gated. But if it's just open now, you, the door is always open. So you don't have to you know, meet a buyer over there or anything. They just go by at their own leisure. Only problem if there's a sign in the yard, you know, that may be a, a stickler. But at the end of the day, it's still going to boil down to um, – um, 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 uh, it's still going to boil down to the numbers. One of the things about a lot, um, it's hard to come up with a true value unless there's a lot of activity there, similar to houses, obviously. Um, a lot of times there's no comps to compare it to. So now what is the real value of it? I know what the price they're asking, but what is the real value of it? But it's listed with an agent. Again, you're not finding anything that's a secret or whatever. So it's advertised to the world. If it's still available, normally that means it's not a great deal. I say you can't negotiate it into a great deal, but um, I advise you to stay away from that. Let you know something I don't. All right, this is on TikTok. Once I uh, got a property under contract, do I need to go ahead and open escrow or find a buyer first? All right, say that again. <laughs> you zoning out. Yeah. Uh, this is on TikTok. Once I get a property under contract, do I need to go ahead and open escrow or find a buyer first? Wait till you have a buyer because you can open quote unquote escrow and they don't want to use them. They may want to use someone else. They're uh, buying the property, number one. And um, if you negotiate it right, they're paying the closing costs. So the one with all the gold normally makes the decisions in this wall. All right, we got one on Instagram. Um, how do I fill out the seller's contract when you find a seller? I need it. I need it to explain like I'm a five year old. I'm slow. Well, I can't explain it to you over the, over the phone. I mean, <laughs> over the live stream because it's a visual thing. So, but I can do you one better. And we hadn't said this. Yeah. Text the word contract to the number 205-964-5243. Guess what happens? I explain it to you for sellers. I explain it to you for buyers. And I show you how to access it for free as much as you want. Boom. Now, whether I'm explaining it on a five-year-old level, uh, probably not. But I think I'm going to explain it on a very simple level. Anytime, guys, and some of you all, I hope, I hope most of you all know this and you say, yeah, he think I'm, we crazy. Um, when you don't know something, a word or something, guess what you can do? They have this wonderful invention called the internet, and then they got this other thing called a website, and they got this special website called Google. You just Google it. Define escrow. They don't want to ask you. They want to ask you. Well, I ain't available all the time. <laughs> How about that? 
They said they're gonna text questions to the two zero five nine six four number, and they're and answer. you and you would get a good response back. <laughs> Feel free to post your cut your questions on the YouTube video that as I will answer your question, <laughs> it would also help others questions. Uh, it will help others by answering that question. Okay. Um, this one is from Kai Dawson on YouTube. Um, they said, how do I select a title company that does wholesale deals? Um, uh, sort of what I just said a moment ago that you really don't worry about that until you actually have a seller and a cash buyer in the contract and you're normally just going to use who the buyer uses but it may be a situation where the buyer your cash buyer that you agree to the deal with um uh this may be their first deal so they don't have that relationship built so now if that's the case then what you can do is simply use the power of social media group um use the power of social media you can go to my Facebook group, Wholesale and Real Estate with the Flip Man, Wholesale and Real Estate with the Flip Man, and ask the question, what title companies, what closing attorneys, depending on what you're using, are wholesaler friendly in XYZ City, whatever the name of the city is? You can do it there. You want to join the group, just text the word group to the 205-964-5243. And um, what am I trying to say? Oh, and uh, oh, and you can uh, do the same thing in local Facebook groups to that particular city where the property is located. All right. Um, this one's from Big Boy Music Group on YouTube. They B -B said, can we use your contract for commercial real estate and how to determine the price for raw land? What's the formula? Um, on the commercial real estate contract? No, that's a that's for residential real estate, that one page contract. As far as the uh, how to determine price for raw land, I, I sort of just explained it for them from the other person. It's, it's, it can be difficult um, because a lot of times you don't have anything else to compare it to. You know, that's the issue with land. So what you can do is, and uh, this is, I don't know really another method if you don't have anything to compare it to. What, what is the county saying it's worth, right? If the county say that lot of land is worth $100,000, I'm trying to get it at 50 or less, you know, 50% or less. You know, well, 50,000 or less, less, but 50% 50, 50 or less. So it, it, it can be difficult. Where can they get a commercial real estate contract? Uh, what was the name of that company I just said? Google. <laughs> get out. Google. <laughs> get off your own life. <laughs> um. Okay, this was from Anya. She said, you've probably told us this before, but out of your 13 plus years of wholesaling, how many deals have you closed? I don't know. I'm a bad record keeper, but um, a lot. A lot. No, I've, I've been doing this long than 13. Um, um, I mean, I've just been on, I've been, been putting content out um, 13 years, um, but I've been doing this since, it'll be 19 years in January. All right, so we got some on TikTok. How do you come up with the target price for the seller? Okay, um, we tried to discuss that earlier, but I guess you just joining us. So they're, they're, um, I got calculators to help you with that, but you have to have the information to, in, to, in, to uh, in, input the calculator. So the calculator you can access for free uh, by texting DC to 205-964-5243. Now you have to have the ARV and you have to have uh, estimated repair cost, right? And so the ARV, mean, which means after repair value, okay? And what that simply means is what will the house appraise for fixed up? So you have to compare a house similar to yours within a certain time frame, within a certain distance that's been renovated or, you know, pretty close to really good condition. And how much is, you know, how much is it going to cost me to get my house in that condition? All right. So once you have that information, I have a repair calculator also. Um, you can text the word, um, I'm text the letters RC to access that. But once you have the ARV, oh, you text ARV, I show you how to get that number. But once you have the ARV, you have the repair cost, you plug it into the calculator, it's going to explain how to do that. 
Now, I have a video that I recently did that breaks all of that down and puts it together where it can make sense. I think the visuals help more than what I can explain to you. Um, but uh, if I don't have a word for that right now. I need to get a word for that. Um, I'm probably going to go with, uh, I ain't going to say it because they'll start doing it. I ain't got it set up yet. But uh, but you can just go to YouTube and do and I And that was a funky title. I should have named it that. But the name of the title was is why most wholesalers fail and why most wholesalers fail is that most wholesalers can't figure out what a good deal is or not. But it starts with what we're explaining now. So if you go to YouTube and do a search for why most wholesalers fail and flip man, that should be a recent video that I did about, you know, I don't even think it's been a month or whatever. So and that'll that'll break it down to you. TikToker. All right. This is also on um, TikTok. Do title company charge uh, charge you for the service they do, or the search they do? Uh, yeah, they're they're in business too. That's 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 one of their services that they. Yeah. Now, oh well, yeah, I'm just gonna say yeah. I ain't gonna say the other part. All right. This is yeah. another title company question. Can I close a deal at a at a title company in my state, but the property is in another state? No, that's possible. It just depends if they if they have that network established in that particular market versus there. It's, it's possible. You got some some regional and I think Chicago title um, closes deals all over the country. So it just depends. Normally they're going to be local, but to answer the question, it's possible. All right. This one's from Deborah McGee. She said, "Hey Ty, have you ever used any of the properties from Happy Investor? Is that a good source?" I'm not familiar with that. Uh, Deborah. Okay. Um, Hustle Mickey. the Struggle said, thank you for answering their question. Hustle the Struggle. Um, Big Boy Music Group asks, Haven't, hasn't happened yet, but what if you've opened escrow with the seller and buyer in place and they do the title search, then last minute the buyer pulls out? Who pays for the title well, search? Well, if the, if the buyer uh, established that title uh company they're the one that chose it initiated that then then the buyer but if you initiate it that's and that's part of the reason why i tell you don't do that is that if the deal falls through hey, it's time to dial up all right deborah mcgee said there's a good book called dictionary of real estate terms um you could buy so do you have other options besides google and time yeah um, and I and I said I was gonna do a term video one day, and it ain't, I ain't got to it. So I first need to come up with the terms, and then yeah, you know. You said we're gonna do the spelling bee. Huh? Yeah, the spelling bee. She said. Oh yeah. Okay. So you just gonna ask me to spell this time? Uh huh. Well, how they know I ain't cheat? <laughs> let's move on. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just saying. You know how Brady Mac be like? Let's move on. <laughs> we gonna see. Um, okay, this was from Mr. Scott. He said, Is a thousand is ten thousand dollar option fee reasonable? How much should you put as an option fee? Uh option fee for what? You know, you're talking about option contracts. What what what's do you have to give me the entirety of the deal? You know, what's your end game? You know, options are different than just a simple purchase and sales agreement. You know, you have to give me the entirety, the entire deal and what's your end game, what's your exit, exit strategy. Alright, this is on Instagram. Yeah, this is on Instagram. How do you assess comps uh to know a negotiating sale uh sales price? How do you negotiate comps? How do you assess comps to know a negotiating sale price? Well, that's what the ARV video will show you. Mm -hmm. That's what it's about comping. Now Jamil and I, Jamil Demji from Keegley slash Astro Flipping. You know, we have a show on Sundays, most Sundays, sometimes our schedules don't line up for it, but um, that we do comp him. But in the meantime, you can uh, just go watch this video if you text the letters ARV, not AVR, ARV to 205-964-5243. Text ARV to the number. Yeah, if we have over, we have 41 of them now, so they can watch those also. Call 41 episodes. Episodes. Oh, what? Somebody said this is on TikTok. They said why he looked tired all the time. 
Oh, that's a good oh, question. Wow. He hasn't had it. Yeah, I am. Um, no, you know, I ain't relating to that. Ain't some salad. Um, <laughs> I, I did do that. Um, normally, give me a little energy. I'm a little depressed. I, I, I'm telling you, I'm a little depressed. Yeah, about young the, Dolph, uh, I'm, I'm, little, little, I'm a little depressed we, we, about we the, little, the young Dolph right um, deal. On so, I'm actually, yeah, I'm, I'm a little depressed. Well, don't say you're depressed. You say you're upset about it. A little stop sad. Well, well, yeah, stop claiming negativity of your life. Well, sad, upset, all them negative. <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference? Yeah, I'm sad right now. I'm sad. I'm sad. I'm I'm I ain't really feeling this today, but we pressing on. We're about okay. to hustle. Big Boy Music Group said, no, I was saying, what if the day before or a couple of days before closing, the buyer pulls out? Does the title search get paid for out of the earnest money deposit? Mm, no, they don't. They're not going to do that because that earnest money deposit going is going to someone. So yeah. it just has to be paid out of someone's pocket unless that was negotiated. That's what was going to happen or whatever. So. All right. Uh, Raw Nelly from, you, from Facebook said, keep your head up, my brother. Oh, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. I'm just saying. They just asked me why I might seem a little, you know what I'm saying? It's not chip. I'm good. I don't know him. You know, just, it just, just you know, just, it. just, just sad, man. Just, 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 it. see, when somebody like him, like he's not, he's special to anybody else, loved one that probably got shot today right. or whatever, it just puts sort of like a, like of, um, a, a, a more of attention to it. Yeah. And for the week it'll be, you know what I'm saying? And people get back to their normal lives or whatever, you know how we do or whatever. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. And one of my friends, um, um, one of my best friends, one of the first people I ever met when I was in Birmingham, we got out to Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, his um, his um, uh, wife's mom died or whatever. And I um, found that out yesterday. Actually, he had texted me while we was on the show yesterday and stuff, but I didn't really look at it until last night. I didn't see it or whatever. So, um, you know, I don't go to many funerals. But, you know, some people, I, you know, hey, they hadn't been there, but just, yeah, it's just, it's, I, I gotta go. You know what I'm saying? It's one of them, you gotta go. So, or whatever. So, that too. But anyway, so we're going in this early. I ain't, y'all see, I ain't, you know, or whatever. I ain't hitting on that. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, you know, I don't, I don't do it, man. People got it worse than when I got it out there, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, um, so anyway, so we we're gonna. Uh, if you didn't get your question answered, we'll uh, we answer those in the comment section of any of my YouTube videos. Uh, the live tomorrow will be at seven. Uh, I'm sorry, eight 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 p.m. Eastern, seven p.m. Central, um, Mountain Six, and I guess. West Coast 5, 5 p.m. So that'll be with Renikia and um, Adria. But well, that's our normal flip flip and R. So, um, so we'll see you guys on the flip side. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Text me and I'll text you back. Text me and I'll text you back. You text me and I'll text you back. You text me and I'll text you back. You text me and I'll text you back. Tip top, you don't stop. I will help you make your paper stack. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at now? 205 964 Yep, yep. 205